let's learn something about this land protection another land protection very powerful in case you are facing this problem or a rich person somebody is trying to take your land or your farm from you that you yourself you know that that land or that property belongs to you but the person is trying to you know take that thing by force because he or she has money and you don't have money my brother my sister don't worry you see pineapple you see pineapple when you get pineapple you see that we hold the head where we hold before we peel the pineapple the, the, the hair that looks like branches you go there and you know offer your prayer and say to the pineapple that somebody is trying to take your land from you and you don't want it so you want it to fight back for you then you remove only one branches of that head of the pineapple then you buy snake head snake head after getting the snake head you push these pineapple branches inside the head the mouth of the snake you put the pineapple branch that you have only one you put it inside the head the mouth of the snake then you get a rope and you tie it you see the way men they tie their shoe when you wear a shoe the way we tie it we tie it similar like that so when you are done get a stick a stick that looks like catapult a stick that looks like catapult you see the way we hold catapult and you know use it get a stick like that and put the head of the snake with the pineapple branch that you put in the mouth of the snake you put it on it and tie it nicely now go to your land or your farm around 11 p.m or 11 a uh, 12 a.m at night when you get there you see that uh, your land or the farm you have a place that you walk if you have any road that you walk to that land then make sure the head or the mouth of the snake face that road if the road is coming from the east side, east side let the snake head also face the place where somebody will walk directly to the head of that snake and then you dig ground <clears throat> sorry you dig the ground and offer prayer and say that this thing that you are putting over there if your wife or your kids or your husband is coming on that land they are free to come the snake should not do anything to them the people that are more important to you mention their names that you wouldn't want the snake to bite when they come on the land they are free to come there if a stranger is coming on that land to eat to ease him his or herself over there the person is free from that snake if a stranger is passing by and the person pass on that land the person is free to pass but the moment somebody will try to take that land and do something stupid that snake should bite that person and this thing we normally do it for those wicked people that always fighting for uh, properties that does not belong to them because they think they have money then when you are done you bury it and in all these things you are saying you'll be pouring the alcohol if you have it as snap you'll be pouring the alcohol with a prayer that these people when they come on the land they are free but the person that will try to take the land from you the snake should bite that person after saying all your intentions then you bury it nicer my brother my sister go home anybody that tries the snake will bite the person physically you have put the snake over there 
spiritually and physically that snake is going to come out any time the person somebody try to take that thing from you so either when the person sees the snake the person will run but if the person try to kill the snake the snake will bite that person and bear in mind that when the snake bite that person there's no way the person will survive that's why i'm saying that it's all those wicked people that always fight for property that does not belong to them because they think they have money and they can get whatever belongs to them thank you very much